yeah the uh, session had a planner for you in a day to practice for two hours okay so if we want to extend those two hours uh, into more hours of practice to in, uh, include all your other lessons like for other uh, students here now most of you are uh, um, in uh, varnam sakriti levels so for all of <clears throat> those people <coughs> what uh, you can do is um, you can also include one more session where you can include your varnams and kritis so when it comes to varnams and kritis so if you are a vocal student then what you can do is you can start practicing the varnam first with swarams Okay, say for example, Mohanam Varnam Ninnu Kori is there. So what you can do is, you have to start singing the Swaram. As always, uh, like this discussed in last class, uh, you you have to do the uh, Alankara practice. So this is after that I am telling you. So after that. What you can do is, uh, you can um, start doing the Swaram, the whole of the Varnam in Swaram, and then followed by the Sahitya. Okay. So, <clears throat> so after this, we will be singing the Sahitya completely. Okay. So, when it comes to violinist, are like uh, a student in violin so what you have to focus is when you are doing the lyrical part you have to make sure that you are doing the bowing correctly okay so after that you have to do the speed hmm? So, um, like how I, Namaskaram uh, Adish, um, like how we did for the uh, basics, first you fix up your uh, speed. Like in Varnams, when you are practicing, we can do a maximum, uh, I mean like maximum speed of uh, five is possible. Okay, we generally do first speed and second speed, yeah? So, other than that, what you can do is first of all, we how we sing the varnam with talam. One minute. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Like how we uh, sing the janta verse, sa sa di di ga ga ma ma. We do the talam. We use the beat each beat twice. So the same way we put the talam for varnam also. It is called rend kala talam. Okay, two two beats are to be done for each uh, uh, beat. And we continue to do so for all the segments. So this is how we do the normal singing of the varnam is This is how we sing. So, uh, as I told you, we will, you will be doing your uh, full swarams, both uh, vocal and for the instrument, you will be doing this and complete your first part. So this will take some, uh, say, uh, 10 minutes, your swaram part. And again, start singing the sahityam. Full, uh, like the sahityam part comes only for the pallavi and the pallavi and in the charnam line. 
okay otherwise it's all the same so focus on the lyrics and uh, you have to be clear in your diction okay when you are a vocalist you have to be clear in your diction is the lyric so be specific and be clear in your diction and when you play it on the instrument then you focus on the bowing so that your lyrics will be heard out okay <clears throat> so you will complete this so this is the first practice that you can do which will again take another 10 minutes as you will be singing the swaram and followed by again starting with the lyrics okay so after this is over what i want you to try out is now start singing in a lower speed first okay how will it come so the ninnu kori enna nora will be your first line that will spread over the first avartana one full avartana so now what you are going to do this spread these to two full avartanas okay nin ko ri zooming in and singing like you are slowing down and singing those the first line in two lines so what is the benefit of doing such a practice the benefit of doing this practice for any instrumentalist or a vocalist first i'll tell about the vocalist see you are slowing down and you are expanding so that you can sustain your voice in those particular notes okay ninu ko you are singing so now you are when you slow down ninu ko so you are not going to do it at free you are doing with the talam so you know how much you have to sustain the notes so if ninu is ga 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 four so when you slow it down it becomes even more longer so it becomes eight so you are going to sustain your ga ga to eight units okay in this way you are helping you yourself to sustain the note and sing uh it slowly and there you can focus on the swarasthanam and the swarashuddham okay yeah. this is the first benefit you get and uh, since you are doing with the talam you know how to do it slowly this will help you to sing chauka kala kritis when it comes to kritis this will benefit in a way where when you learn the chauka kala kritis okay yeah? so what are chauka kala kritis na that are really really very slow and it will it should be rendered in that speed only um hmm? example dvijavanti chetashri balakrishna you can go and uh, uh, listen to it it is a composition of shri muttu swami dikshita a very beautiful krithi about krishna chetashri balakrishna it comes like that goes like that so it, it it will be even more slower than what i sing actually so there are krutis which are rendered really slow you have to stick to the speed and again we will uh, uh, later uh, see what speed has to be um uh taken for or you should render in what speed what uh kriti should be given uh, rendered in what speed we will deal again in a separate topic so now coming to this maunam varnam uh, now this is over so you will be uh, fully um singing the varnam or playing the varnam in this speed fully completely 
gare gare sari 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 like that okay so after this now again you will come back to the normal speed the usual speed that you're saying so i'll sing the first line let's say way and show you So now <clears throat> the next is we can uh, sing it in the Tishram. Again, I'll uh, elaborate on this topic later. Tishram is where we uh, sing three notes. Okay. Yeah. So the, so when it comes to Varnam, it will become six for the lower speed. No, you will put the talam like this. Okay. Maybe explicitly you can show it, or you can do if you are very confident with the talam, you can just put it in a single. Okay. This we will deal again in a separate session because we have to again um, bring it down to the lower lessons. You can do it with your. Sarli Swaras or in Avit Alankaras. Best thing you can do the Tishram is Alankaras. Okay. Like, mm hmm. Sadi ka pagari, sadi ka di, sadi ka pagari, pada pagari, pagari ka pada, ka pada swadava, ka pada paga pada swadava. It will go on like that. It will be in. Uh, uh, Set of three. Okay. So you can do this. So after this, so now that uh, skipping the Tishram part, you have done your lower speed, the normal speed, and now we will go to the second speed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then after that, you can also do the next speed. And also the next speed. Now that when we include that system, it will become five. Okay. The lower speed, the normal uh, uh, speed, system, and the second speed for the normal speed, and the next speed. So in between that, if you are capable enough to do the um, double speed for system, it's fine. So, so in a way, we will we will be doing it in six speeds. So now basically you can you can stick on to three speeds, which will be your the lower speed that I told you, the normal speed, the usual thing that we learn the varnam in usual speed the varnam, we learn the varnam in, have a doubt and the sir. second speed. Who's that? The Sattvic. Yes, tell me. Miss, I didn't understand the difference between tishram and normal singing, Miss. What's That's what I'll tell that in a separate topic. I told you, tishram is singing the uh, like see normally we sing with four notes per beat, right? Tishram is three, three notes per beat. Okay, Miss. See the first part of the tishra triputa tala alankaram sadhika sadhika ma. Takita is the uh, um, Solkata for the Tishram. Okay, so we will deal with Tishram uh, in a separate session because it's again, it again a, a vast topic. Okay. Um, so 
I like, yeah, I just repeat the lower speed, the normal speed and the second speed should be pretty much enough for you to practice um, in the beginning. Okay, so the 10, 10 and now uh, the lower speed, the normal speed and the second speed as a whole. Now, and also the Swaram first, initially we will complete it and then come to the Sahityam. This will take uh, 20 minutes fully. And again, doing it in the lower speed, another 10 minutes. So your 30 minutes is over. First half an hour is over. And then again, we will do the normal speed and the second speed. So, okay. So for 40 to 50 minutes are over. And when you are doing it in vocal, then you can again repeat it for your second section of one hour in akaram, ukaram and unkaram like how we did for the basic lessons. So this is just for one varnam. And imagine your amount of time you need if you have to practice many varnams. So you might have thought, what will I do? Like my after my two sessions of basics, what is there to do for again another two sessions? The thing that I told you now just comes for almost like close to 15 minutes. And the breaks that we will be taking and the kind of focus we will have will come to one hour just for doing one varna. Okay. So if you do a practice like this, then imagine the amount of a proficiency that you will have in whatever you do, in a ragam that you take. Okay. So this is for Varnam practice, basic practice that you will be doing. And if you are going to do the, um, what is it, Tishram Kirkalam and Tishram Melkalam. Tishram Kirkalam is that I told you it will come in six. And Tishram Melkalam is it will come, it will it will double its speed, like 12, 12 notes per beat will come. Okay. Yeah. So, <coughs> who's that? Yes. Sriniti? Mr. Atatalam? Atatalavarnam in the practice. Yes, yes. Any any talavarnam you can. Atatalavarnam will take its own time. You, you need some um, um, one and a half hours completely for or like full two hours for just one varnam. You just need the time and patience. That's it. You should fix up your time. Yeah, maybe what you can do is you don't have to, you know, sit at a stretch and completely exhaust yourself. I, I, I won't say you will be exhausted, but then we, we just need that focus. You can definitely do at a talavarnam or whatever talavarnam you can do. That's not, that's possible. That you can, you can do. At talavarnam can be done also for any, any, any varnam. That's what, see, you, if you, in a day, as I told you, so we have just um, uh, scheduled for all seven days. Just take a ragam and do everything in that ragam for that whole day. If you are doing mohanam, be with mohanam for that whole full day. Your voice or your instrument will never go here or I mean, it, it will not deviate from mohanam. Okay, yeah. so this is so, okay, now this Varnam is over. Now if, um, yeah, for, uh, this is for two of us, almost like, uh, as I told you, this will be like, and when you are doing that for vocalist, like it will be for again, in Akara Mukaram and Mukaram. So violin is what you can do is you can try out again, bowing the first half in one bow and the second half of the, uh, yeah, line in one book, like Ninu Kor Nin Ninu Kor. You can do this in one book and see if you can do. And again, the 
second half in another go and you can uh, again do uh, try to uh, do the full line in one go and all those kinds of practices you can do and one more thing what i forgot to uh, tell you is uh, the three stai practice three stai practice of just the arohanam and avarohanam alone okay that i missed out in the la last uh, session so it will be uh, from the lower octave up till the uh, higher note that you can hit on the uh, higher octave you can do the uh, uh, practice for instrumentalists it will be from your fourth string and most of you would have done it in the class okay so yeah starting from the fourth string the mantra stai we call it the mantra stai you can do that from from there up to the higher sa since this is just arohanam arohanam i'm telling you the uh, okay sadi ga pada sa sa is a samashruti sa you can go below that now sa da pa ga re sa the lower sa okay yeah. sa re ga pa da sa ri ka pa da sa ri ga pa for vocal is it i think it, it's enough if you stop for pa for uh, instrumentalist you can go up to sa since this is just the swaram for alankaram please do not stick on to uh, um, those higher notes no need uh, you can just stop up to pa that's enough so again you will come down from pa and end up with your lower uh, sa this you will do initially uh, start with the first speed do the second speed and the third speed and also in the akaram for singing and for uh, playing it on the violin it's enough if you do the swara sthanam practice alone like uh, yeah only the arohanam and avarohanam completely and uh, repeatedly do it many times okay yeah you can uh, always uh, do it uh, how much ever times you want that is one thing and you can do the same for all the arohanam avarohanam that again uh, comes in the order yeah in the kram and not for the ones that are jumbled don't ask how i do this for saranga no need <laughs> because this is just you are going to ensure you are on the right note that's all so you don't have to sing it uh, for the uh, jumbled notes it's enough if you just practice the arohanam and avarohanam for the vakra ragas in the samashruti okay because the varnam by itself will help you to know the uh, swarasthanam in the higher octave so we need not complicate it uh, for the uh, vakra ragas so this is how your uh, practice should be now that i open it for you all to either try out uh, whatever we have discussed today because i just have some uh, six or seven minutes since I, we joined we started off late i was late by five minutes so the forum or the session will end by 6:40 i don't know i think 6:45 huh? i don't know 6:45 okay 6:45 okay yeah maybe another uh, couple of um, uh, 10 minutes is left out 6:45 okay so anybody who want to try out what we have discussed today may do so yes please Pari ga pa da sa sa da pa ga ri sa sa da pa ga ri sa sa ri ga pa da sa ri ga pa da sa ri ga pa pa ga ri sa da 
pagari sada pagari sada. Very good. Ga ga ri sa sa ri. Ah, sa sa liya. You're reducing the speed. So that, that, that should be the same thing we follow. Liya, yeah, you are reducing and singing, liya. Yeah. Ah, it yeah, is sa sa ri ri. So I am singing sa sa. Ah, in the slow one, no, no, no. Sa sa ri ri, liya. Yeah. Sa sa ri ri. If for ga ga ri, sa sa ri ri ga ga ri ri will be your first half when you when you sing it in the normal speed. So this will come for the whole talam. Our lang. Ga ga ri sa 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 ri ri ga. Lala. <laughs> Hello. Anyone? Where are the trip and all? I want to um, um, violin la vasikira la. Yara the. Illa thalam potno thar. No thar yara the parango and one more person can do it and all. Purunjha da first. Others. Anyway, good try. Sir, I'm not sure how to slow down. How you are not sure how to slow down. Why? Let me. Uh, what's the quantity? Like, should we make each bow, each bow, uh, each note like? That's why expand it, expand it. Ah, so no, 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 no. See, ga ga. When they one bit la murcho raliya. See the first part. You are doing it in the on the beat itself. Ga ga di. Irkeliya. So ga ga di. ஒரேமா <laughs> anybody violin la try pandrala anyone who wants to try it on the violin yes oh, ready yes i want to finger fingers enna ma no ready fingers come finger ீர நீ <laughs> 
எல்லாருக்கும் <laughs> அதுதான் நம்ம எப்படி பாக்கணும்னா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹாஃப் வந்து ஒரு ஃபுல் ஆவர்த்தனம் வரும் அதே மாதிரி செகண்ட் ஹாஃப் ஃபுல் ஆவர்த்தனம் அந்த செகண்ட் ஹாஃப் படிச்சேன்னா மாதவ வந்து பாடினது ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹாஃப் கரெக்டா பாடினா செகண்ட் ஹாஃப் வரைச்சே ஸ்லோ பண்ணிட்டான் புரிஞ்சுதா உனக்கு மாதவ் அனுப்பலையா <laughs> முடிஞ்சிருக்கா 
வரும் <laughs> ஒரே பீட்ல பாடுறேன் 